what is Amazon SES, how it works, how to use Amazon SES as your SMTP service. I will explain step by step video. Please stay tuned. Hi friends, how are you? Hope you are doing good. Now, what is Amazon SES? You know, to build an email marketing system, we need two things. The first is the SMTP service and the second is the mailing application like MailWiz or Mailster. Now, the SMTP service, I can say the cheapest SMTP service available in the planet is Amazon SES. A Amazon SES is a SMTP mailing service provided by Amazon like G Suite, like uh, Office 365. It is the SMTP mailing service provided exclusively by Amazon. Now, it can be used by digital marketers, by entrepreneurs, by freelancers or any type of uh, large marketing agencies. I will cite three reasons why according to me it is the best SMTP service in the world. Number one, it is the cheapest SMTP service in the planet right now. Uh, you can send up to 100,000 emails at just $1.10. So I don't think any other email marketing system like MailChimp or Aweber or MailerLite comes anywhere near to it. The, the second reason according to me is super fast. You can, you can send up to 14 emails in a second and uh, 50,000 emails in a day. The third reason is it's super high domain and IP reputation. Be assured that the emails you will be sending will be directly going into the inbox. Second, the only thing that you must do is you have to connect a mailing application like uh, SendBlaster or MailWiz or MailStar. Uh, you can get uh, MailWiz 50 or 60 dollars for a lifetime one time price. It has no recurring payments. After you connect the mailing application with the SMTP service, the email marketing system is complete and you can send up to 1 million emails per day. To sum up Amazon SES, it is a simple SMTP service provided by Amazon. If you have any more doubts about Amazon SES, please comment down below. I will be very happy to answer all of them. Now let me show you how you can use Amazon SES to build your own SMTP service and send bulk emails for the lowest price that is possible. Sorry to interrupt. There is a free ebook that I am giving away completely free. There is a link in the description down below. Please download it. And in the next videos, I will also be giving away free new ebooks completely for free to all my subscribers and to all the viewers. Thank you. Now uh, I am logged into the Amazon AWS panel. As you can see, you can type aws.amazon.com and you will be um, coming into this dashboard. Now you, you have to click here to create an Amazon account. I will not create an Amazon account. I will not waste time here because um, I have already created an account. It's a simple procedure. You just have to type in your name and all those things and an Amazon account will be created. Now uh, here you can see you can just type in your business, your full name, your phone number and an Amazon account will be created. I, as I have already created one, you can see a sign in to the console option is being enabled. Now uh, when I sign in to the um, sign in to my amazon account uh, you just have to type here ses and the first thing that will pop up is amazon simple email service you click on this button and it will redirect you to your dashboard as you can see the dashboard is here uh, now the first thing that you must do is go to domains and verify your domain now to verify um, as you can see my domain brightagini.com is already ver verified the verification status it says verified the dkim status says verified and is and it is enabled for sending now the first thing you click is verify your domain uh, let me type my new testing domain brighterlife.in you type in generate dkim settings and verify this domain Now you will be redirecting with three uh, three things. The first is uh, to verify your DKIM record. The second thing is to ver uh, verify your uh, domain record, domain verification record. Uh, now uh, I think you have already purchased your uh, domain. I have purchased my domain from Namecheap. Uh, you may be you may have purchased from uh, GoDaddy or um, so Name.com or anywhere it doesn't matter all those have the same uh, back, uh, back end settings now uh, as i come I connect to my uh, go into my dashboard of namecheap you can see here uh, just hold on for a second um, this is the this is the dashboard of brighterlife.in that i will be confirming uh, i have to go to the advanced dns here 
and copy come here type in this thing amazon ses control c and come in here add a new record add a new what type of record text record txt record so come in down here and this is the text record the value uh, copy the value from here copy here paste here copy this from here and paste the host name is here now set it click ok a text record has been generated add a new record i think a c name record has to be added let's see for the dkim settings yes i have to add a c name record copy this and come here go to the c name part and click on here and the target value just copy the target value copy it and just paste it here continue the same thing for the two continue the same thing for the two two more just copy it and paste it i will not waste time here as i have already shown you the method you can also um, send uh, set up your mx record um, if you have not um, set up your mx record in the domain server it is the email service uh, mail server option so i think uh, if you want to set up you can set up or else don't now putting on close as i have already it is pending verification now as you can see um, it, it um, often takes about 24 to 48 hours to um, verify the verification status to be okay but uh, on my case it was verified within 3 to 4 hours but at most it takes about uh, 23 to 24 hours I'm sorry 20 um, at most it takes about uh, 24 to 48 hours now uh, when it gets verified you just have to go to email addresses and uh, the um, type in verify a new email address it can be anything support at brighter life dot in when you verify this email address an email will be sent to this email address and you have to just click in the link in the email and the um, and it will be verified as you can see i have already verified hello at brighter com. now moving on to the sending statistics changing my server um, let's say i'm taking the us west oregon you will be redirecting here just hold on for a moment you can see after it is being verified you can only send email to your own email address um, your company email addresses uh, here you can see your amazon ses account this message will pop up your amazon ses account has been in sandbox mode to um, to remove it from sandbox mode what you have to do is you have to as you can see here only you can send 200 emails per day and one email per second and uh, these emails all will only be sent to your own um, server email addresses like uh, in my domain is betterlife.in if i make uh, 10 to 15 email addresses like uh, support at the red battle lab dot in help at the red battle lab dot in so it will be sent within those only i can't send my email addresses to somebody else now to remove this limit and to remove it from the sandbox mode you have to request uh, request increase sending limits it will open a new tab here you just uh, you don't have to do anything you will be redirected to this page now when you click on this type in here ses it will be redirecting to your let me show you from a previous page this will be the page that will be redirected now just click on the sending quota come on down below and type in here your quota value let's say i am typing 50000 and i am requesting it as um, you can see here your request is a problem please fill the following details only one open service quota increase request is allowed per quarter because i have already given a request of 50000 in this year so it will be it will be great get it will be getting approved within um, 24 to 48 hours so um, this will come out of the sandbox mode and you can see as uh, my my one has come out here my um, sending limit just hold on for a moment 
they don't um, lots of people say that they are um, uh, sending request is not being accepted um, in my opinion in my cases if you have uh, requested originally if you are not a spammer if you don't send bulk emails uh, without um, directing persons to a specific target without targeting audiences so your uh, limit will be and if you if your website is designed such a way that you um, uh, amazon finds it very much relevant that you collect email addresses by uh, your newsletter or opt-in forms uh, I don't think um, there is any reason to um, your, um, ban your or to decline your um, Amazon SES sending limit. As you can see here, uh, my limit is 14 emails per second. Uh, my limit is 49,679 as I have sent 321 emails today. Uh, so the statistics, the dedicated IP, configured IP, these are not the things that you must be um, concerned about right now. You can see my Amazon SES reputation is healthy. The bounce rate is 0.51 percent which is very good um, the bounce rate is very much dependent on your uh, how much you increase how much spam you do uh, how many persons opt, opt out of your emails how many persons uh, don't get your emails false email addresses that's why validation is very much important now the next thing you must do is come in uh, come into the smtp settings um, just let me go to my email address first uh, my domains and delete is as already I have done uh, I don't need it now coming to the SMTP settings you can just uh, create my SMTP credentials click click on here and your SMTP credentials will be created apart from that you can see it the IA management console is being opened so now this is the page that is being opened now click on here create and it will work and it will create see show you my user smtp portals just copy it paste it here write it your smtp username the next thing is your smtp password click here paste it here copy it just paste it here the two more things that will be required is your host and your port minimize it now moving back coming down here to your smtp settings this is your port these three are your ports you may use any of these just copy it and paste it here port And your host is your server name just copy it and paste it here these are the things that will be required for you to connect with your mailing application like mailwiz or mail uh, mailstar or um, send blaster or mailgun anything like that so the uh, smtp username smtp password your host name your port these are the four things that will be required so in this video, I have shown you step by step what is Amazon SES, how it works, uh, how can you log into your Amazon SES console, how uh, you can verify your domain, how you can verify your email addresses, what are your SMTP credentials, what are your host and port which will be required to connect your uh, mailing application with your SMTP. So this is all and I hope you have understood it and if you still have any doubts, please comment down below. I will be very happy to answer all of those questions. On the next video, I will be explaining you how to install MailWiz and configure MailWiz and connect it to your SMTP service. So bye bye friends. Take care.